Welcome to the Wide World of Web. Welcome. I'm your host, Smithers O'Neill. And on today's episode, we're going to learn how to build an online fan base. Let's get started, shall we? This here is the Y2K Survival Guide, my science fiction blog that will be growing into a thriving community. And with just one good post, I've already started to gain fans. Heck yeah! And you can do it too! A good online post contains the following. Relevance. With the new millennium on the horizon, the Y2K computer glitch is a very current topic. Entertainment value. Captivate your audience with drama. And lastly, a call to action. Invite your fans to join in on the fun. Just look at those results. It's an excellent sign of enjoyment when fans role play with the material. Looks like we've already gathered a cult following. But if we really want to build a large fan base, we're going to need a heck of a lot more fans. Oh, speak of the devil. People who think this is real are... Nintendo Guy doesn't seem to understand online fantasy role-playing, and says our fans lack significant intelligence. What should we do? A. Delete his comment and ban his account. B. Create community guidelines that forbid hate speech. C. Call him a homophobic slur that makes Mario noises when fucked in the ass. Yahoo! As great as C is, we can't allow hate speech in our community. So option B it is. New community guideline. If someone makes hateful remarks, it is our duty to reply in the appropriate manner. Now I can sit back and let the fans respond with their own insults and death threats. All right. Here we go. Whoa! Cyber Kevin really took the new guideline to heart. Safe to say our fans have successfully protected the realm. But it does make me wonder, what else should we encourage our fan base to do? A. Buy urine purification kits as merchandise. B. Meet in the woods at night and wear cool uniforms. C. Spread the word online. Our community is still small, so let's spread the word. But first, we'll need to add a deeper plot to the Y2K scenario. It's an organized government attack created to control the population will cause all sorts of drama, drama, and more drama. This will entice fans to send out our guide to everyone they know. Nobody is safe from our reach. <sighs> it really feels like this is the start of a beautiful family. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yes, indeed. Our fans are already playing along, so while they spread the word, Let's talk about today's sponsor, NordVPN. As someone who lives entirely online, it's imperative to be protected against online threats. And in just a single click, NordVPN equips me with a suit of web protection armor. But not only does it help me protect my online identity, it also helps me assume new ones. By selecting servers from all over the world, I can access all sorts of country-specific communities and entertainment, like this India-only chat room, where I'm educating my new friends on hip American lingo. How fun! VPNs are also good for research, acting as a protective layer for sensitive topics. It's like putting on a condom for internet safety. However you decide to use NordVPN, you can use my special link in the description, nordvpn.com slash skycorp. That's nordvpn.com slash skycorp, where you'll receive a huge discount on Nord's two-year plan, which includes four additional months free. And if you're not a fan, don't worry. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So sign up for NordVPN today and start really exploring the wide world of web. Well, we asked our fans to send our blog to everyone they know. And would you look at that? They helped us reach 10,000 visitors. Now we've really got ourselves a supportive community. <sighs> they are simply delightful. <gasps> a new article? Looks like we're finally getting our big break. <laughs> Y2K Survival Guide launches Millennium pa Hmm. Well, they clearly don't seem to understand dedicated fantasy role-playing. Not one bit. This ex-cypher character is really making an effort to tear apart our community. And his fans are guzzling it all up. 
but it's not wise to wage all-out war between our fan bases. So let's go for a much more subtle reaction. Threatening to burn him alive. By sending X Cypher this very special fan mail, he'll never mess with our community ever again. So to send him our one-of-a-kind fan mail, we'll get our number one fan to email him on our behalf. That way, we don't get too close to the matter. Cyber Kevin, copy this message to X Cypher. Dear X Cypher, huge fan, would love to send you fan mail that contains a special submission. What is your shipping address? Kevin. Ha! Huh, just as I thought! Cyber Kevin was able to procure a P.O. Box address. Now we can ship X Cypher the videotape. I wonder if it'll give him nightmares. And over a week later, it seems like we've got a reaction. <laughs> I'm so excited I could pee myself. Dear Master, good idea with... Hmm. What, what is he, uh... Oh boy. It seems like Cyber Kevin followed X Cypher home from his P.O. box and escalated the situation. Oh, Cyber Kevin. Despite his undying loyalty, he does leave us in quite the predicament. Now we can either A, take down our website and erase all evidence, or B, inform the proper authorities. <sighs> well, it's about time I accept all this negativity and get out in front of this. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what they say. There's no such thing as bad press. It totally worked! We maxed out our site's hit counter and brought in a ton of new fans. Sadly, it also came with a herd of pesky naysayers. But our community is stronger than ever. A group of like-minded individuals, fully united, serving one common goal. Together, we can accomplish anything in the wide world of web.